What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. I am Sunny Brooks, and for those that are new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. I hope you enjoy yourself while you're here. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. And um, those that are not new, welcome back. So while you're here, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, hit the notification bell to be notified when I upload my next video. And if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, don't forget to drop them below. Guess what we're talking about today? We're talking about how to cleanse your mind and body how to cleanse basically um not necessarily what to do specifically um but how to cleanse so that you can have a clear mind and clear body so i'm going to give you some tips tricks and tools for that <music> get started the first thing I want to talk about and tell you is that cleansing is really important like I don't I there's no way I can really stress it enough there is so many things that we consume that we eat that we see that we feel throughout the day throughout the weeks and throughout the months it is important to cleanse ourselves because when we cleanse ourselves we give ourselves a good reset rather than spiritually um, physically mentally we get a good reset when we cleanse and we always need a good reset. When we reset, we can think clear, we feel better, we feel more energized. Um, it's just overall a great thing to do um, consistently. When we're cleansing, we get rid of the things that are not serving us, things that are unwanted. So we may have like started uh, maybe a bad habit. Like I know me for some time, um, when I was working a lot, I had started drinking coffee every day. And not just black coffee because uh, coffee has their uh, the health benefits, but the ones with a whole bunch of sugar and all that stuff, that is not a great habit that I wanted to continue. So when I cleansed, I made sure to break that habit and other habits and different things. So I got rid of the things that I didn't want, but I also um, reset my body, just reset everything in order to um, really get a clean slate. Honestly, I cleanse a couple times a year. I normally... I would say detox and cleansing is two different things. Detox is a little more strict and a little more intense, and cleansing is not. But I cleanse um, at least every other month, at the bare minimum every quarter, which is four times a year. But I do different cleanses. So you could do a spiritual cleanse. Sometimes I do like a... Um, information cleanse where I won't consume information and things like that. I do body cleanses. So there's different ways to cleanse, but definitely you want to do it consistently. And I do mine at least like four times at the bare minimum a year. Um, so first I'm going to talk about cleansing the body and then I'll talk about cleansing the mind. So cleansing the body will be the physical cleanse, right? Getting rid of like the sluggishness, getting rid of, um, maybe mental like mental fog getting rid of uh just any unwanted like toxins and weight and things like that you can get rid of that with a um body cleanse one main thing you want to do when you cleanse your body is drink a lot when i mean a lot a lot of water drink as much water as you can like when i cleanse i don't drink anything else but water unless i'm on like a cleanse that requires me to drink tea but outside of that i only drink water because i'm a person that's hard for me to drink a lot of liquids throughout the day so i know if i'm drinking other stuff outside of water my water probably won't get drunk so i drink nothing but water you want to drink a lot of water because it flush your system and it flush your um you it flush toxins and things out of your system um, when you're cleansing your body, you can add supplements, different herbs, different um, roots and things are good for cleansing. So a lot of times people may cleanse with like dandelion root or um, they'll, I don't want to get too much into herbs. There's a lot of detox teas that you can find at the grocery store. Like Yogi, the brand Yogi has different detox. They have a peach detox, a regular detox. You could get something like that. That will be like a supplement tea. You can also get like liver cleanse herbs or kidney cleanse herbs or lung cleansing herbs. Um, you you can basically do that. That's a great way to cleanse your body. I always basically add some sort of herb, whether it's in tea form, whether it's tinctures, tinctures or um, little capsules. I always add herbs when I'm cleansing my body. You want to also um, basically stop as much as you can 
And I would just say completely like drinking alcohol, wine, smoking hookah. If you smoke, like cut out the things with so much chemicals. So even with foods, you want to like sweets, a lot of sweets you want to cut out, the um, starches, the processed food, things like that. You want to cut back on those because when you're trying to cleanse your body and you're still smoking hookah and you're still eating french fries from McDonald's and you're still um, eating 12 packs of cookies from Publix, what are you, I'm sorry, like, what? Are, how are you cleansing? You need to clean your body from the things that you normally give. Um, and it's not necessarily depriving your body, but it's allowing your body to get as much um, health benefits from the herbs, but also consume and absorb as many nutrients and vitamins from the healthy foods you're eating. When you're also cleansing your body, you want to make sure you're incorporating lots of fruits, lots of veggies, like fresh fruit, fresh veggies, produce shop on the perimeter of the supermarket so those aisles stay out of them stay on the outside right if you can cut back on certain meats like red meats and things like that or you could just cut out meat completely during your cleanse but you want to make sure at the bare minimum you are like double triple quadrupling your um, produce intake also, when we do physical cleanses, body cleanses, um, or we're trying to cleanse our bodies, spiritual baths are really great for that. Spiritual baths is going to be great for mental, um, emotional, spiritual, and physical baths because think about it. When you are you want to cleanse physically, because you have to take a physical bath to cleanse out the spiritual gunk and things like that. When I do a um body cleanse i normally add a spiritual cleanse at the end just to kind of get any residue that may not be seen or i cannot feel in my physical body but could feel in my spirit body if that makes sense right so that's cleansing your body cleansing your mind all right listen listen linda really um our mind we see so many things consume and absorb so many things all the time that we may not even be conscious of it like they say the average person see like thousands of advertisements a day like do you think you see that many a day probably not um so when we cleanse our mind one of my main things i tell people get off social media take a social media break get off social media like it ain't going nowhere i promise you every every january i get off social media like the beginning of like well technically the end of december the entire month of January, because when I come in my year, I want to be clear minded. I don't want distractions. I don't mm -mm. get off social media. Those people are going to be there. And if you care about them or you want to check up on them, pick up the phone and call them. Get off social media. If you have a business, find another way to interact on social media. Like or if you're not um, if you are disciplined enough, get on there and log right out. Or um, you can use scheduling apps and things like that. There's ways around it. But take a social media break when you're trying to cleanse your mind. Like, it is so much stuff going on. And I just don't think we can really cleanse our mind with us focusing and looking at other people's lives to see what they're doing. Like, get a clear mind. You want to reduce information overload also when you're trying to clear your mind. If you're a person that maybe not do social media, but you are... um researching all the time on youtube all the time on google university reading books all the time like that's information you're overloading yourself with books are great i'm listen i'm not saying nothing about books i read i'm an avid reader so i'm not saying that but when we consume so much information and don't allow ourselves to really digest it and really um just be with information we could uh cause information overload and then we can't think clear we can't really we feel like exhausted our mind is exhausted because we're constantly learning or trying to consume information i'm a, like when i say i'm a nerd at heart like i always want to learn like i'm a learner like if I can learn, I'm going to do it. I'm going to read it. I'm going to research it. I'm going to do it. But you want to reduce the information overload. When you're also cleansing your mind, journaling is really good. I did a video on um, 31 journal topics. Check that video out. In that video, you can literally go day one through day 31 and have a different journal topic. That's going to be really good for clearing your mind because it's a lot of stuff up here. And when we get to writing and journaling, we take what's up here and put it on paper. And sometimes it clears our heart up. And um, meditation, 
Meditation is really important when we're trying to cleanse our mind. We can, of course, do different meditations like forgiveness meditation and things like that. That will be more so of an emotional cleanse. But um, just having maybe a five to ten minute guided meditation every day could help with mental clarity and just refreshing your mind and getting rid of, you know, all of those thoughts that run us a lot of times. Um, yeah. And the last thing I would talk about is a mental clarity ritual. Like any, I don't care if it's I'm cleansing my mind, my emotions, my spirit, my body. I'm going to do some type of ritual at the end. Like I'm just going to do it. Um, mental clarity rituals, right? You can do, you can use different crystals, different herbs, different salts. You can even take a mental clarity spiritual bath. But I would do a mental clarity ritual. I have done one with um, a white candle before and some water. And I took those um, papers and stuff and... You know, I did some different things, um, but you want to cleanse your mind on a spiritual level also. So whatever ritual you're feeling led to, do that. And um, that's it for basically how to cleanse your mind and body. Hopefully you got something from it. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them below and let me know some ways that you cleanse your mind and body. And hopefully those that see it can incorporate it into their lifestyle. Until we meet again, I will see you later. Love you. Bye.